Hey guys, welcome to Horror on Me. I'm your host, Aaron Mitchell, and today is the Daily Three. I want to say thanks, guys, for submitting your questions yesterday. I will get to them in a second here and answer them for you. But first, I want to see what we got in the mail today. I just got home from work. Sorry, it's a little dark. I'll turn the lights on here. And we'll go over what we got. So... We got a nice little package here. And uh, we'll go through that stuff real quick. Uh, shut the door. All right. So, let me take you guys into the room here. I'll set this camera down. We'll unbox this and I'll answer your questions. And then uh, I'm gonna take you guys into the horror room. It's a mess in there, but I am starting to sell a few things. So I decided that I'm gonna pick out a few things tonight and uh, get it up on Macari. I've been selling on Macari lately. I enjoy using that site. Sorry, this thing's not staying. There we go. Okay, so looks like we got a box here in the mail. Um, I do know that this is a lot of VHS. So let me I didn't bring a... Oh, I got a knife here. Okay. So let me just pop this over and we'll take a look at it. I'm excited about this one. Oh, somebody wrote something on the front. Okay. So this came from Chicago. All right. Okay. Let's see what we got. Everything is nicely bubble wrapped. I must say, I don't think I've ever gotten a package from somebody that I bought VHS tapes from that doesn't care about, that like, has just thrown them in a box and didn't care about it. Like, every time I receive them, like, they're always nice and uh, packaged. I mean, I just think that's cool. I've bought collectibles from people before and they just throw it in a box like they didn't care about it. I hate that. <clears throat> All right. Let's get into it. There we go, perfect. Okay, so this is a really cool lot. Two of these films I already had, but I didn't have them in uh, a slip case. I had them as like a cut box uh, in clamshells, but the first one up is Chud. Love this movie. I also got Chud 2, had to get that, Bug the Chud. This is what I was super excited about. As you guys know, Maniac Cop is one of my favorites, and I happen to find all three of them. So we got Maniac Cop, you can see. Also got Maniac Cop 2. And then we got Maniac Cop 3. So really excited for those. Awesome pickups today. I also went out on lunch break. I actually forgot them in the car. I went on my lunch break to Salvation Army. <clears throat> I didn't film it today, but I will film it one of these days when I go out there. Um, I got six tapes for $2. One of them was um, a Goosebumps one. It was the Tower, Tower of Terror. I also got Surviving Picasso, one of my favorite movies that's not horror. I really love that movie. Um, I also got two more of the Scooby-Doo Halloween tapes. So nothing real crazy, but for two bucks, I thought it was a good pickup today. Um, all right, so first I want to go through the questions. I wrote down your guys' questions from yesterday. Um, and thank you guys for participating. I really appreciate it. It's nice to be able to come at you every day and answer your questions. So the first question I got is, when am I going to give you guys a proper room tour? Um, so I'm planning on that. Uh, right now it's a mess. I'm just going to do a quick scan when I go in there and we pick out some stuff to sell. Um, but I will give you a good room tour. I'm thinking within this first 30 days of me doing this thing. So look out for that. Second question I got was, what got me into collecting? Um, I think the main thing that started getting me into collecting is I just got, I wanted more than just uh, the movies or just watching DVDs and, and stuff like that. So I wanted to start getting pieces of like some of my favorite films. Um, so it's kind of started with me uh, with just getting little things like posters, um, stuff like that. And then eventually it grew into me getting action figures. And then from there it got me into getting statues. And then from there it started with busts. And then I started making my own figures. And it's just been an evolution over the last nine years or so uh, that I've been seriously collecting. 
Um, so I wouldn't, that's kind of how it happened for me. I know everyone has their own personal story of how these things happen. Uh, but that's just kind of my story and how that happened. So uh, next question I got was, what are my thoughts on the Mego re-releases? Um, I do really like the Migos. Um, I, I'm glad they came back. Um, I think that some of the ones are hit or miss if they actually look like the character or not. But some of them are really good. Um, and I think that for the price point, to get a retro cloth figure at that scale, like a 7-inch figure, for like $12.99, you can't really beat that um, anywhere in the collecting game. I, so I think it's cool that Mego is back. Um, and I think that Marty, I'm glad to see Marty. If you guys know the history of Mego, he was gotten a lot of trouble um, and owed a lot of money to people. So that's why Mego originally shut down. He went to jail. Um, so he's back and started the company again. So it was nice to see that he decided to come back. So that's my thoughts on Mego. Uh, the next question I got was, do I still do Fright Crate unboxings? Yes, I still do Fright Crate unboxings. I'm not buying them every month anymore. Um, I'm really just going with the, the themes that I really like, because sometimes the themes aren't necessarily for me. Uh, so I'm being very selective with the ones that I pick up. But yes, I am still doing them. Uh, sometimes Jay will send me a box and I'll, I'll do it then. But as far as cost, I'm really trying to narrow down what I'm spending my money on with my collection. I used to go real crazy and just buy whatever, and I'm really honed myself in over the last year or two years um, to kind of just be specific with what I'm buying. So and that's that. My next question I got was, what's my favorite Hammer film? Uh, my all-time favorite Hammer film is Curse of the Werewolf. Um, that's probably, probably my top film, and then I also really like Blood of Dracula. That's a good one as well, too. Um, they're all good. I, I just, I really do like Hammer films, um, but I would say Curse of the Werewolf is probably my favorite. Uh, next question I got was, do I prefer watching Friday the 13th on VHS or DVD? Um, I just recently watched Friday the 13th on VHS because I got it. Um, obviously, I have it on other formats too, like DVD and stuff like that, but I would have to say, because I'm on this mission to watch movie like VHS again, Going back and watching these movies, um, like I saw them when I was a kid, um, has been something that I really enjoy. So I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'll probably say VHS now because it has that old school film grit um, to it. And it just, it doesn't look fake. It's not all 4K'd out where you can see like sweat on people's foreheads and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. There's something about it that just takes the mystique away from, from it for me. So I'd have to say VHS for sure. So... That's the questions I got, so I want to urge you guys again, submit your questions on this video, and I will answer them tomorrow for tomorrow's vlog. So let me get the camera here. We're going to go in the horror room. Let's see if I can flip this around. I can't flip the camera around, so I'll just show you guys. So toys. So let's go in. Let's see if we can find a couple things. All right, so... It is a mess in here, as you guys can see. There's shit everywhere. There's boxes. Um, you know, there's just stuff everywhere. <laughs> but I can give you guys a quick scan of what's kind of going on here. The figures, figure trees. I know you can't see everything, but let me turn this light around. Uh, I don't know how dark it is over here. You guys can see over here. I don't know. There's just so much stuff, guys. That's why it take, it's going to take me forever to show you guys everything. But I did want to pick out a couple things. Um, I recently have been selling on Macari, like I said. And I've been selling um, some DD stuff right now just because I have so much of it. Um, this one is currently up for sale if you guys are interested on my Macari. Um, this one's rare. Um, there's only, I believe, 10 or 20 of these um, that was done specifically for a Little Box of Horrors. Uh, but that is for sale. Um, I believe I'm going to put the, the Cropsy up soon. Maybe tonight. We'll see. Um, what else did I want to sell? Down here. I thought about Silent Night of the Creeps. I'm not sure about that. I do want to keep Coffin Joe. Obviously want to keep the thing. The Creep Show 1 and 2. I'm not sure about yet. Um, I'm looking to just kind of raise like a thousand bucks right now for some of this project I'm trying to work on. Um, 
so I'm trying to think of just sell a few things, but that are higher value. Um, here's some of my other stuff in here. This is all my pieces from uh, that I've done, um, except for the Leprechaun, of course. I thought about selling the Leprechaun, but I just recently got it, so I'm not sure if I want to do that. I also have the clown, the blue clown that's for sale right now, and also the two-pack Pennywise DD. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to sell yet. Um, I'm still thinking about putting this Hoggle two-pack up, cult classic. It's really rare. Um, I don't know if I want to get rid of it yet, but I've been thinking about it lately. Um, I've also thought about maybe upgrading some of my Puppet Masters. Uh, I do want to get... These are the Tom Devlins here. I'm not going to get rid of those, but I'm thinking about upgrading my Pinhead to a Tom Devlin. Um, and I don't know, this stuff... I don't know. I'm going to have to go through everything, but I, again, this is something that's going to be... That's why it's kind of hard for me to do a, a proper room tour for you guys. There's just so much. I mean, all these figures are like five or six figures deep on the wall. Um, the only way I can really do it properly is to actually pull each piece off, and that's going to be a mess. So I'm going to have to be careful with how I do it, but I'm not really sure. So that's kind of where we're at with everything right now. I figured I'd give you that little look. I know you guys have been asking for a while, um, so we'll see. But I think that's going to do it for today's vlog, guys. So I want to say thank you. Thanks for continuing to follow and uh, giving me all the good words. And um, let me know what you guys are interested in, things you guys wanted to see. I know a couple of you guys gave me some some uh, ideas yesterday. So I want to say thank you for that. So again, leave your comments. And if you have questions, put them in the comments below and I'll answer them tomorrow. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and I will see you on tomorrow's daily vlog.